What's up everyone, it's Q from Retro Q Gaming, and I have good news for you PC gamers out there who fell into the stupid trap of thinking No Man's Sky was ever going to be worth playing, because I've been following, kind of following-ish, No Man's Sky since it was very first announced, for the simple reason is, when I first saw it, when it was first announced, I thought the game looked like a joke, I never had any interest in it whatsoever, and I could literally not wrap my head in any way shape or form around how anyone could possibly think it looks good but people did and people blew it up to massive hype levels of proportion not through just their own fault but because they were also completely missold on the game they were promised so many things by that fucking chipmunk looking hipster motherfucker sean murray who i just want to break his fucking face every time i see him but anyway yeah, he completely missold the game. He promised so many things that were still advertised post-release, but are not in the game. They've been advertised for like two or three years, and then the game finally came out, and they were still advertised, and they were just not in the game. As well as so much things that were advertised up until release, but not said that they weren't going to be in it. So, I mean, think of it this way. Think of them advertising all this new stuff in new videos and new interviews the day before a game is released, and then it's not in the game the next day when it releases. So, yeah, you can understandably, people were pissed off. Not only that, not only was there so much missing content and so much broken promises and so much stuff cut out, but there was also things like the the performance issues on PC, the game ran like an absolute joke, even on high-end hardware there was just stuttering, the game was so brokenly coded in some aspects, rather than fixing features, they just removed them, because the game was so poorly coded, for example, N Nvidia's G-Sync didn't work properly, because the game was poorly coded and had performance issues, so what they did is, instead of fixing it, they removed G-Sync support, now who knows if, I haven't been keeping up with it to see if it's back, or if it's planned to come back personally i just don't give a shit anymore it, it was fun to laugh at the whole no man's sky situation and once it actually released it was it was great to just see how much of a mess it was so anyway the good news that's coming from all of this is steam is now offering refunds to people who have put more than two hours into the game so if you're familiar with steam's refund policy basically the way the steam refund policy works is you're entitled to a refund a full refund as long as you fulfill two conditions those two conditions are you've bought the game within the last 14 days the exception to that is if you pre-order a game it's 14 days within release of the actual game as well as you have less than two hours put into the game now the game did release just over two weeks ago so it is slightly over 14 days so i'm not sure if that part still takes effect but i do know that steam are offering refunds to people with more than two hours put into the game so like i said i don't know if this is if this is just for people who are who have bought the game within the last two weeks but have more than two hours in it or i don't know if it encompasses all the people that bought it even on day one and have more than two hours in it so i can't find any info on that i also can't find any info to see if it's a specific blanket uh, just a blanket refund policy that's changed for, for this specific game, or if it's just a case-by-case -case discretionary basis. That's one thing that's not found. There's no full, proper announcement out, uh, out about the whole thing yet, but there are significant reports and a load of people showing emails and just a refund policy and everything about that they've got with refunds in regarding to No Man's Sky having over two hours in it. And I don't blame them. I'm actually glad that Steam are doing something about this because the game... The game shouldn't be released in this state, and the, the state it is on PC is an absolute joke. It shouldn't, at least at the time anyway, like I said, I haven't kept up with it for the last week or so, but in the state that it released in, and even some short, small patches in the, the first like week of release, it shouldn't have been released in any of those states, as well as the whole absolute mis-selling of the game. I mean, some of the videos on Steam... Last time I checked, which was about, like I said, about a week after release, some of those videos on Steam still show and still advertise tons of that stuff 
that it isn't even in the game and that's just so different in every way shape or form or like some of it's not in it some of it the stuff is still advertised and some of it is just completely different than what is actually the version of it in the game and those trailers are still up on steam it's the same with the division if you go and look at the division on steam you will actually see that all the video or a lot of the videos and screenshots are the original ones shown off when that game was announced the game doesn't look like that the game doesn't play like that and god knows how they can still get away with having it up there it's absolutely ridiculous so the fact that steam are extending this refund policy is great news because steam realized there's a shitload of unhappy people and it does come after the news that no Man's Sky active playtime has nosedived by almost 90% because everyone is just, everyone is, is actually playing the game. It's Watchdog Syndrome all over again. Once the game actually comes out, it's too late to have realized that it's crap or that it's shit or that it's broken or that it's completely missold and you've been lied to simply because you've already bought the game. And then they can tout their massive amounts of players or massive amounts of numbers because it's too late and you've already jumped in and done the whole thing i know i I was there with watchdogs as well i actually broke my uh don't buy ubisoft games rule for watchdogs and yeah that let's say the 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 night i was going to say the day but the night that ubisoft released watchdogs yeah my uh my let's not buy ubisoft games again came back within like an hour so you get the idea anyway and um I think Hello Games are a lot of crap, and they don't have a good history, and they've brought it on themselves, and they deserve everything they're coming from. Everyone, every news outlet, every person, every tweet, every refund, they deserve absolutely every single piece of it. Everything was missold. Sean Murray is a piece of shit, and if only Sony would extend the refund policy to the other people who were completely mis- misled, missold on games on the PlayStation 4. It's unfortunate, but at least Steam are stepping in to protect themselves anyway, because they know that something has to be done, and if they don't do it, no one will. So, let me know in the comment section below what you think about the refund policy. If you think it's good guys Steam that are doing it, or if you think that people should just QQ less, whatever. Let me know all that in the comment section below. If you've been affected by No Man's Sky, or if you got suckered by it, or you're trying to get a refund, whatever. All that in the comment section below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter. Details in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you in the rest of the videos in my channel.